Good evening and welcome to the Saturday News at 10. I'm Gretchen Parsons. New at 10 tonight, three medical professionals are back in Boise after they traveled to Haiti last month to help those in need. For some of them, this was their third time to the country struggle or to the country visiting those struggling with poverty. But for others, it was their first time there. Our Shira Matsuzawa spoke with them today about their time in Haiti and the conditions they saw. Shira? And Gretchen, they're sharing their experience with me as tomorrow marks the 10th anniversary of the devastating earthquake that hit Haiti. 10 years after an earthquake devastated Haiti, the country is still rocked by poverty and medical care needs. It's the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. Which is why St. Luke's pediatric anesthesiologist Scott Hurd and his wife Heidi, who's a nurse, traveled to Limbe, Haiti on a medical mission. In this particular little hospital where we serve, um, the hospital really relies on international teams to come down and perform surgeries. They don't have any um, surgeons there. So about once a month, um, teams will come down and perform surgeries for a week. This was Dr. Hurd's third trip. It was Heidi's second. It did kind of feel like a movie at times if they don't have any electricity or running water. Their homes are so simple and um, so humble. But this particular trip was filled with some uncertainty. Political troubles, unrest, and demonstrations in the country canceled previous scheduled medical missions. So there had been a gap of between the month of May until December. And all that time, the patients um, that needed surgery just had to wait. Fortunately, last month, the team, which consisted of 15 people, including other doctors, nurses, and volunteers, made it to Haiti and in the span of a week performed nearly 50 surgeries. I was not prepared for the, I guess, level of um, poverty that, that we saw there initially. Nelson Petty and his wife were among them. When we landed, I was, um, yeah, I guess awestruck. And on the morning they were set to leave, a truck carrying at least a dozen people lost its brakes while going down a mountain road and flipped, killing six people and injuring the others. The team jumped in, helping those hurt before heading to the airport. An experience Petty will never forget. It was life changing. And they tell me they're planning on going back next year. If you'd like to help, we'll have some information on our website about how you may do so at KTVB.com as well as on our KTVB app. Gotcha. Okay, thanks, Shira. 